it's time to act. It's time to take that step forward, if you will, and change someone else's life. Solo Dios y ustedes que tienen ese corazón tan lindo para ayudar al prójimo, porque ya nosotros no tenemos posibilidades. There are approximately 7.3 billion people on Earth. Of that number, around 110 million people are in need of a wheelchair. Many of us may take for granted what it's like to be able to walk, run, work and play with the use of our legs. Simple tasks like using the bathroom, getting in and out of a vehicle, or going up and down stairs are very difficult without the use of our legs. In developed countries, it has become easier for those with disabilities to get around using a basic wheelchair or even a motorized wheelchair. Many businesses have created wheelchair accessible ramps, and there are even vehicles that are modified to aid a disabled person in driving. In developing countries, that is not always the case. Many disabled individuals in need of a wheelchair are confined to their homes or have to be carried around by those that are willing to help. Some spend their days begging on street corners to earn a living. More durable wheelchairs with off-road tires are needed in many countries. The first known wheelchair was made by an unknown inventor in 1595 for King Philip II. He suffered from a form of arthritis called gout, which was referred to as the King's Disease. Wheelchair-like devices in that era were reserved for the noble and rich, many of whom used a wheelchair as their throne because they were too lazy to walk. One of the first successfully sold wheelchairs was created by John Dawson of Bath, England in 1783, and it was very popular throughout the early 19th century. Since the early days of the wheelchair, there have been many redesigns and improvements leading to greater quality of movement for those with disabilities. Today, wheelchairs are more readily available, but are still too expensive for those in impoverished nations. More local manufacturing plants are needed to meet the demand and to help lower costs. Nathan Ogden of Boise, Idaho, was paralyzed in a skiing accident in December of 2001 in Bend, Oregon, and has been confined to a wheelchair ever since. 16 years of ups and downs associated with his disability inspired his wife, Heather, to do something to help those with the inability to walk. Heather created a plan to have her family make a two-week journey by bike from Bend to Los Angeles, California, to raise money for wheelchairs to take to those in need around the world. It was a huge success.
The following spring, their family, with the help of the Wheelchair Foundation and the local Mexican Rotarians, delivered 400 wheelchairs to people in need in the cities of Leon and Oaxaca. Look at these little ones here. And it's all thank you. Oh. Yes. All thanks to your work, my friend. And we have also like you were showing up there. This is amazing. So we put that down. Hello. Hi. Hola. Chair the Hope was officially born, and momentum has been growing ever since. Costa Rica is a small country bordered by the Pacific Ocean to the west, the Atlantic Ocean to the east, Nicaragua to the north, and Panama to the southeast. The people of Costa Rica rely greatly on the export of electronic components, medical equipment, pineapples, and bananas. Tourism is also very important to the growth of Costa Rica's economy. More and more foreigners are discovering the rich beauty and exciting adventures that Costa Rica has to offer. The country is relatively safe for travelers as violent crime is low. Costa Rica is one of 23 countries without a military and they pride themselves on peace. In March of 2019, the Ogdens were joined by a small group of volunteer families from California, Idaho and Utah to deliver 100 wheelchairs to San Jose, Costa Rica. There are nearly 5 million people living in Costa Rica, and around 90,000 people in need of wheelchairs. When confronting such an enormous task, 100 wheelchairs may not seem like much, but they mattered greatly to the ones that received them. Chair the Hope decided that a great way to motivate families to come on a humanitarian trip to a foreign country was to plan wheelchair delivery, along with exciting activities to enjoy and to help the group bond. This is our first independent wheelchair delivery that we have done as Chair of the Hope. It was a lot of work, but as we came together with amazing families and joined in Costa Rica, I was able to see how the fruits of our labor started coming together. Where you guys from? California. Yeah, just right outside Sacramento. Yeah. 
So the wheelchairs come in these big containers and they're shipped to whatever area we're in. Let's do this, Isaac. We brought them out of this, the truck and they're a little heavy and some people drop them, but we just carry them into the building. So they're specifically measured out in inches of how wide they are. So we had the 16 inches, 18 inches, and the 20 inches for the different widths of the wheelchairs for different people. People that we met here in Costa Rica, the Rotarians, were amazing. They helped out from the ground floor, starting on getting the wheelchairs here, helping us with collecting the people's names, and providing an area for them to be in. distribution was a really enjoyable and really spiritual moment for me because I got to mostly help out with everyone out of their cars and lead them into the building, get them in their wheelchairs. It was just so cool to see the reaction of how a wheelchair can 
help their lives immediately. Usted con ese corazón llega a esos lugares donde necesitan esa ayuda que solo Dios y ustedes que tienen ese corazón tan lindo para ayudar al prójimo. Nosotros no tenemos posibilidades para Le pido a Dios que me ayude para poder manejarme mejor. A veces me deseo parar como ir a, a buscar un jarro de agua o así, pero si no tengo la silla cerca no, no me muevo porque me caigo. 
ella tiene que ayudarme en el baño. En la noche, cuando me voy a acostar, me, me, me acuestan. Un poquito de arroz. Ay, mamá, un poquitito. Ay, mamá, un poquitito. Y les agradezco mucho, antemano, y que Dios los bendiga, bendiga la, las instituciones que dan ese, esa, esa ayuda tan grande. Muy poca gente que hace ayuda. Me los guarde todo el viaje que llevan para allá y cuando se ponde vaya. Y sigan ayudándole al prójimo. Y allá las personas que se encargan de esto también, que ayuden más a bendecir el prójimo. Que tenga una buena salud, una buena vida. Dios los bendiga, mi amor. Gracias. Algo increíble, yo nunca creí. ¿Cómo se siente? Ay, feliz. No hay una felicidad más grande. Sí, es que está bien este mal. A ver, a ver, a ver. Ay, se, se aprovecha de la nobleza. A ver, a ver. Dios me lo bendiga. Que cuidado, que también los Dios nos dejó a los chiquitos. Que nos tengan con salud. Gracias. Sí, Muchas gracias. Cuídense, cuídense. Trabajaba aquí en la, en la hacienda Pinto y fue una mujer muy trabajadora, muy luchadora. Fue, fue, fue difícil para ella. Bueno, tiene demencia. Tiene ya, ya para ocho años. Y entonces ella, ella se, como que se le olvidó caminar o es más difícil ya. Para, para cuidarla y todo ya. ya. Yo diría que es difícil, pero ya uno se va acostumbrando. Ahí va va aprendiendo a vivir con eso ya, y con la enfermedad de ellos y todo ya. ¿Cómo va a mejorar la vida de su mamá al obtener este nuevo sitio? Ah, la salimos, la llevamos a pasear, la, la playa, yo la llevo al mercado y todo, a la sillita, al parque y todo. Entonces ella ya, imagínense qué, qué gran te ayuda es. Que les agradezco montones, que, que Dios me los bendiga y que, que sigan así, ¿verdad? Ayudando a mucha gente. Muchas gracias. Cuando vio que yo no salía, se fue al baño y me encontró ahí con media vara en la lengua afuera y ya inconsciente. Llamaron la ambulancia y me montaron en ella. Y cuando llegué al hospital aquí, a, me dijo el doctor que me iba a dar un neurodema cerebral, derrame cerebral. Me afectó el lado derecho. Aquí tengo un huequito, ¿ves? ¿eh? Me afectó, pero definitivamente. No, yo no tengo una silla de ruedas. Yo tenía una silla de ruedas ahí, pero se me le pudieron las llantas. Entonces la nuera la botó. El no caminar, eso es lo más difícil para mí. A mí me tienen que hacer todo. Me tienen que bañar y me tienen que mudar y todo. Porque yo no puedo hacerme nada. Por mí sola yo no me manejo porque yo no tengo equilibrio en mi cuerpo. ¿Cómo va 
a mejorar su vida, a recibir el cielo. ¿Pura vida? ¿Va a ser pura vida? ¿Porque ya puedo salir a todos lados? ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Pura vida? Muchas gracias, papi. Mira como me gusta. Rotarians invited us over for dinner after the distribution and they had this cool beachy place and they had tacos set up and steak, all this really good food and they also had a pool that we played in. It was just like a really cool hangout place and we got to eat lots of food and the Rotarians just really made this distribution possible. The day after our wheelchair distribution, we went to a park. Making a difference in Costa Rica. <laughs> Welcome to Costa Rica, Pura Vida. We're painting the wall here at a city park for the kids. Just Ooh. helping out, doing some humanitarian work. You kind of want to stand off the wall a little bit. Okay, one group at the end, one group in the middle. And how this brings back some memories. I think we painted houses to raise money to come. Oh, I thought you said paint the twig. <laughs> Say name. Nombre. 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 Marino. 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 Doug. 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 I have a bucket. I can't do that. I can help you. Okay, one thing that's cool is that we are wanting to not just do wheelchairs, but when we come to Costa Rica or any other country, we want to do other humanitarian projects, so that's what we're doing. We're painting the wall. Just kind of setting the pace. That's because you told me I had 5% done <laughs> of the whole project. So then I start kicking it into turbo Ogden speed. Killing it. We're just trying to keep up. That was shoddy work. <laughs> shoddy hey, work. One thing we know is my wife does not let me help paint at home. She hires it out. She's like, no, She's don't like, even touch. Okay, you're, you'd really help me by leaving now. Yeah. Like, okay, I love you. As soon as they had the wheelchair, they just had that freedom in their life and they were able to do stuff. And it was really eye-opening. Helping now, like, how lucky we are that we can and we should be helping other people. It was awesome to have you teenagers, like, lift the people out of the car and just carry them. We feel like that, I don't know. Yeah, that was That's cool. something that, Christ would do, you know, just get in there and make it happen. Yeah. We appreciate you guys. We're all done painting the wall. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Yay! You have some nice paint on your face. Yeah, that means you're that, working that, hard. I, I can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a facial. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mud <mudless>. mask. <laughs> exactly. Mud People mask. pay good money for that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs>
lot of hard work and it was hot and sweaty, but as the kids got out of school and they started coming out and getting on the play equipment, my heart just swelled because I thought, man, I didn't know that we could actually make such a difference. We had some soccer jerseys that we brought with us and we just gave them out and they seemed like really thankful and appreciated. Uh, I'm not sure if the size is all good up, so hold, hold them up. Oh, yeah. 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 Seeing the kids out there with these soccer jerseys on and seeing how our families that had been there delivering the wheelchairs and then also helping with the cleaning up of the park had made such a difference in their lives and also allowing them to see that there's other people who care out there about them and giving them hope. It really touched me and made me realize we're doing the right thing. We're making a difference. Okay, uh, I think uh, there's a new adventure waiting for us. Okay. Adios. Adios. We want everybody to sit by somebody they haven't sat by yet. So go ahead. We'll turn the music on. Everybody move the chairs. Here we go. I haven't sat by this kid once. I don't even know who this yeah, is. And we have no music. Well, I'll sit by this girl right here. I think you sat by her before. Yeah, but uh, I got a little like something going sign, here. <laughs>
Hawka Beach, it was such a blast because the waves were coming in and you just either want to dive through the big waves or you get mauled and I do not want to get mauled so I just dove under and hoped for the best. We hit the beach quite a few times while we were here in Costa Rica so it was fun taking like a boogie board out there and just hitting the waves hard, getting absolutely destroyed out there but it was fun. Lincoln was using a boogie board uh, for skimboarding, and so basically you take the boogie board and you throw it on a thin layer of water and you jump on it and you just ride along the, the water and it's super fun. Can I use them? You're awesome, man. Uh, True, this is my breakfast burritos. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time grew up, I somehow made it through without losing sight, mm. and I still wonder where you are, and if you found a way out from the dark, mm. the stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my mind, My partner was Mike Corbett, <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> he was driving the four-wheeler in front, and then I was in the back holding on to him for my dear life. I guess one of the things I want to point out is how Nathan practices what he preaches. He has every reason not to go and do something like that. It might be too hard, might be something he'd be scared to do. But he jumps right in there, wants to do it, and so I had the great opportunity to actually help facilitate that. We rode in a side-by-side, -side, went up this amazing canyon through the jungle. One of the coolest trails ever where you get to ride through the river. Hey, we're out doing four-wheeling right now. We got my buddy back here, Ulysses. Ulysses. And as we go down the steep hills, he holds me so I don't go falling out the front. So when everyone else was riding on the ATVs, I was in a razor with Bryn Coombs, Ellie Van Tassel, and Liv Simpson, and we had a blast. As soon as we hit the water, we zoomed past and we got full on roller coaster and water wave on us, and it was just such a fun time. We'd go crazy, and we had a cooler on the back of our razor, and we went so fast and hit so many rocks that it fell off and all of our water bottles spilt all in the water and we felt kind of bad, but. <laughs> we were gonna go up to a waterfall and you could ride up on this trail with the ATV so far and then the trail got too narrow. All right, we ready to go. You got water? Okay, just carry it Okay. Watch, just watch your head. Hold this leg out. These guides and strangers they helped piggyback me a half a mile into a waterfall on a dangerous trail. <laughs> you need a rest to hang on? I'm good, right? I will stand nearby. Okay, I'm ready for the chair. Okay. <laughs> yes. If you cry out, if you cry out. Yeah. It's okay. It's a good breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Protein. Yes, Protein. Protein. When it seems shut down. Yeah, it's close. Almost there. It's okay. 
Good job. I'm rested. I could go again too. No, I don't. It's my turn. Come on. <laughs> you can't steal all of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Excuse me, when you're going downhill, you need to lift you up. We, uh, we close. Ends. Very close. It's almost there. All right. Let's yeah. get there. Do you want to take a turn? Yeah. I'll carry your gear for you. Yeah. Take the light. Everybody so far is doing great. Tell me what you need to make your dreams come true. That's great. What to do? Meet me at the old cafe, and I will try not to pretend. And I will listen to your stories, and I will be your friend. Estamos con mi amigo Nathan in Costa Rica. Es pura vida. Hemos caminado durante media milla. El propósito de llegar a esta cascada, a este río, es para que Nathan pueda disfrutar con su familia después de saber su historia. Eh, es un placer ayudarles y ayudarle a la familia de Nathan también, ya que es un placer. Gracias. I told the Heather, I told everyone. No, just leave me up there. That's too far to go to carry me. Well, obviously no one listens to me because <laughs> they just brought stuff and they picked me up and started. I didn't have a choice. Roy killed it. Roy knows what it's like. He broke the same vertebrae I did <laughs> in the neck. And wow. Thank you to other people. That No one gets anywhere in life on their own. It's having other people help you. You need to go out and serve. And wow, thanks to these guys serving, I get to live a life that I want to live. So gracias, señor. Mucho gusto. It was hard for us, but it was very rewarding and being able to help Nate make it up the trail, go with all of our group, and get to the waterfall. This course is straight and true Might be late, but it's come for you You dream on, you hold on You say you want last time You keep pulling until you drag yourself up Standing on the other side This has been amazing. Share the Hope Travel, we want you guys on one of these. Get back, have lunch, and then we go ziplining. No one's let me do before, but these guys are. That should be pretty fun. Don and Lincoln, they're really good with ATVs and basically anything with a motor. They ended up uh, doing some wheelies with some of the guys there, the guys that worked there, and it was cool to see them do that. I like how adventurous Nate is. He's up for anything. It's great, great way to be, great way to live. I like a good wedgie. I can't feel it. Slide your hand back a bit, and you will see. You keep your body straight again. So always your hand right behind of the pulley, okay? On some of the cables, you have to go not with your hand here because you can get stuck. But you can go with your hand on top of the pulley. We let you know, okay? This means break, 
You pull down on the line and then that makes you break. And then this means don't break and keep going so you can make it to the end. You guys nervous at all? No. Nope. Nope. Are you? Yeah, you're pretty nervous, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Some people, AKA Isaac Barker, a member of our video crew, was scared to death on the first one. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. This is not bad. Can't tell you I'm not nervous about this because I'm <laughs> super nervous. Yeah. Uh, you get out here? Yep. We'll be glad once you've done it. Three. Come on. Woo! Go late. Go. Up. 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 Este me asusta mucho. No me gusta las <laughs> alturas. Alturas, no. Ah, pero aquí estamos. Vamos, you can do it. <laughs> oh man. Sit calm with the harness, please. Start with your left hand in the straps. The right hand in the top of the pulley. Don't break it off. Yeah. Okay. Cross your legs. Lean back a little bit. One, two, three. Amazing. <laughs> I, I have a fear of heights, so it took me everything to get on. <laughs> to yeah. be honest, but yeah. afterwards I felt, I felt good. But yeah, yeah. It's just the anticipation before. Yeah. Yeah. We actually had one of our tour guys, Roy, who was amazing and just took really great care of Nathan and being able to get him to get from one uh, platform to another. This was exciting and more rewarding in a way to be able to watch Nate and his family be able to be free and, and be like anybody else in that moment and enjoying the excitement and the adrenaline of just flying from one point to another. Wow. That's all. Good job, Roy. Wow. Yeah. Good job, Roy. Excellent. Good job. Nice. Good job. Is he hooked on? Okay. Okay. You, I trust you with him. No worries. No worries. Are you ready, mi amigo? Let's do it. Vamos. Don't, don't let go of me if you go. Don's not hooked on right either. There. I like how like three okay. of the platforms, I'm hanging on. Let go. Let go. You got it? You got him? Yeah. You go first? Me? Okay. Well done. Get the hook cover. Bye bye!
The great thing about Trailer Hope is having these families that we don't really know very well and that they can come with us and we can get to know them really well. And It's not like we just do distributions all the time. We can also vacation with each other and have a good time. It is really cool to go to different countries and areas to see the different cultures, food, and like how their lifestyle is and be able to be part of that and you get to go see stores and like buy what they create. We want this to be special. We want it to be special for those getting wheelchairs. We also want it to be special for those who are coming and providing their time and their talents. I thought it was going to be fun to come down here and be a part of a humanitarian trip, but in my mind it, it changed me from the sense that being around Nate and being able to help and lift and serve him and the Costa Rican people has been an amazing trip. The people here in Costa Rica, they allowed me to live my life farther than what I could do on my own. Being able to serve other people just always reminds me of being able to serve God and I'm coming away super happy and I think most of that's because of the opportunity that I had to serve while I was here. The people were so grateful to be able to receive the wheelchairs. I think it'll change their lives. By just continuing to move forward with things that aren't always easy, and they're uncomfortable, sometimes we feel out of our element and very overwhelmed, but I feel like as we keep pushing forward with Chair the Hope, that lives are being changed and we're finding hope to deliver mobility and independence throughout the world. It's time to act. It's time to take that step forward, if you will, and change someone else's life, or maybe dozens or hundreds or thousands, if you have the ability to do so. Her daughter just shared it with me and says that she's very happy since today she was able to take her to the beach. This video shows the joy of this older lady who, she can move her legs, but um, you can tell she's too feeble to walk anymore, but when you see the joy in her face, and you think at first she's saying, no, don't take my picture, don't take my picture, but what she's saying is, come here, she needs love because she's feeling the ocean in her toes because she has this wheelchair that, Luke, the Nate, Lizzie, Ben, you guys all worked hard to provide for this lady. They can't seem to fix it up, so they call you on Monday morning. You can do two jobs, still just like an old man smile on the coffee table. Nothing's ever done well. Money is a part of the life that you need. Wonder when it all starts, when nobody wants more. Just want to 
gonna be everything you intended to be Well it's all going faster And you can't get a hold of things And you're longing and searching for something